What's up YouTube, it's JB Tech Fanatic and I'm back again with another video. As always, I wanna start this video by thanking you for joining me. If you have not yet subscribed, I'd be so honored if you'd consider. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you wanna know when the latest content is available, don't forget to click the notifications to on. Today we're back with Samsung and we are in the kitchen. Now I know this is sort of an awkward setup, but the overall goal here is to show you the all new Samsung Storm Wash and help you decide whether or not it's worth your hard earned money. Now when it comes to dishwashers, there is lots to choose from, but what we want is something that cleans our dishes, doesn't leave spots, and takes as little as maintenance as possible and of course will last you for years to come. Let's check this out together. I'm so happy you're here. Let's get started. Let's begin looking on the inside. We have, of course, all the packaging still left. I just wanted to show you what it looks like before we take it apart. Be sure to remove all the wrapping and plastic so it does not melt and damage your dishwasher. Of course, we have the stainless steel housing as well as the stainless steel interior and of course the standard rinse aid and soap dispenser. For those of you that enjoy getting freebies, they of course give you some samples of soap. We'll look at that in a bit. The top rack is a great rack for putting extra silverware, maybe baby bottle tops or wooden spoons or spatulas. Next shelf in, one thing that I noticed immediately is the build quality is superb. I really believe that this is probably gonna last quite a long time. It's just mo so much more sturdy than the standard um, dishwasher that we had before. I'm hoping that they will not rust and break off. Couple of other things I feel are important. One, it has a heater that is hidden and that is good for you so you don't burn yourself. The other thing is it has a leak sensor now this will detect links. This is great to have. Also, the second shelf being adjustable, I wanted to let you know that the maximum clearance that you can get is 13 and a half. And the second shelf is easily adjustable. Before I show you that, I wanted to point out that it continues to use the nylon as far as the rack coating material, so it should last. When we pull this out on both sides, you will have a little blue handle. All you would need to do at the same time, of course, is lift up. When you do, let that lock in, and there you go. That's how you lift it up, and then to put it back down, you simply would just pull that in and do it. But remember, of course, you wanna do that on both sides. Now, as you can see on the second shelf, we have our um, arm here. So you can kind of see how it works. We have this top shelf. Now again, this is all plastic. It's not the quality nylon. However, this is easily removed. And I'm going to do that so I can show you how this functions. To remove, you would simply pull and lift and this whole thing will pop out very easily. Now that we can see all the way inside on top, you can see that it continues to have a great build stainless steel all the way through. I want to pay close attention to that top arm there. As you can see going down the back, it goes and then there's a little hole there. Notice when I push the drawer all the way back, that is how it gets its power and its water jet for that arm. And that of course continues all the way down so it's all working off of one mechanism. When you are doing your wash, you wanna make sure that these drawers are pushed all the way back so that you can utilize each and every arm and get the full pressure. Then of course, that pressure is actually the power of the jet. 
That is all coming from the circulation motor watts, which is 150 to 190. Then we have the heater watts of 1100. And then of course the drain pump watts of 35. So all in all, this is a great powerful system and it is also very quiet with a 48 dBA. On. We have the beautiful ice blue LED display here. Delay start, start, wash, rinse, dry, sanitize, high temp wash, storm wash, and lower rack. Rinse only, express, 60, delicate, heavy, normal, auto. Here's your power button, your light indicator, and then of course they have the Samsung branding up top. First look, I started uh, the first cycle basically just sanitizing it before use. As you can see, we got the buildup of water. Overall, it's very quiet. And I found it interesting as soon as I opened it, a fan kicked on. Um, and I believe this is to keep the spots from getting on the cups. So what do I think of the Samsung Stormwash dishwasher? The good thing here is before I made this video, I actually have used this, well, not just me, my wife and family, for about six months. I have three kids and a wife, so, you know, we put this thing to use every single day. And I really wanted to emphasize quality, so I didn't want to just jump the gun, tell you it was great, and not know, you know, three months later it wasn't going to be great any longer. Now, this, of course, being the storm wash, Samsung has different designs. The storm wash is that rotating red you know, sort of round thing we saw at the bottom when we looked inside. And what that does is it's supposed to reach those tough spots. Now, the reason I bring this up is I really believe most of us have a bad habit of overstuffing our dishwasher. I know my family does for sure. Now, I'm not gonna say, you know, sit here and lie to you and say that every single time we overstuff and everything gets clean, but I will say this. Considering how many other dishwashers that I have reviewed and tested have taken that on, this is by far the best. It gets off hard caked food. It gets into those spots. You know, if your bowls are leaned over in your plate, it still seems to get the top great. It gets the bottom nice and clean. There is one thing I you have to be careful of, and that is a lot of people like to stick their spoons in, and when I say spoons, they're long wooden spoons and spatulas into where the silverware goes and it will stop that top blade from spinning. If you do that, you are going to really not get the experience you want. But if you make sure that is done, even over stuff, this does a great job. Now, loading the dishwasher properly, lining the dishes up like they should be, glasses on top, so on and so forth, this performs outstanding. Now there's a few keys here you wanna make sure. Hard water doesn't help anybody. Water softener, usually a must in a house. If you don't, definitely use some sort of uh, rinse aid, the spots. It, it, if you don't, you're gonna have spotty glasses. A dishwasher can't fix that for you. Now what the um, quick release, or not the quick release, but what happens with these dishwashers, towards the end, they automatically open and that really helps cut down on those spots. It blows hot air, the fan gets all of that moisture out, and that actually helps the spots. I would say if you have no um, soft water, you don't use a spot remover, I would think if I'm just logically telling you a number, 50% better versus if it did not open at the end. Now with the remover and using all the correct products little to zero spots and that's so important now it's very quiet at 48 dba kind of talked about it again it's called the auto release door that is a must feature so if you choose a different uh, product by samsung look for the auto release to me that is a must at this point um, the third rack that's not for everybody i recommend using the third rack for your spatulas, your long wooden spoons, or anything that's, you know, long, knives, whatever. Put those up there and you won't have a problem, especially hitting that blade. The fingerprint resistance, it's okay. I mean, it's stainless steel. You can get this in regular stainless or, you know, dark stainless or black stainless. It's good. Your kids are still gonna get some, you know, smudges on there, but it is what it is. 
Now, the adjustable rack, we took a look at that. Use it. If you're gonna use larger dishes or maybe you just wanna use the bottom, move that top rack up all the way. And then if you wanna put smaller dishes at the bottom and you wanna get that nice and loaded, drop that down. I think that's another must that you should look for and this has it. Now, other than that, it doesn't have a lot of smart features and my channel's all about tech, but overall quality, I will say that this is an eight out of a 10. Now, why would I give it an eight out of 10? Well, first of all, nothing's perfect. We all know that. I do believe that, you know, you can of course find quieter. Again, you might pay a little bit more. Um, also, I would have liked to see smart features. So that's really the only problem I have with this dishwasher. Of course, I, you know, in this day and age, some coatings are better for fingerprints and I know you can buy spray products that help. I think that could be also a little bit better. Other than that, I definitely think that this is an awesome dishwasher that you should check Very out. Very briefly, I wanted to go over a few things that I hope might help you. And it really deals with the quality of products. Now, let me be very clear and open. Prior to 2018, for appliances, I would not recommend Samsung. And that was based off of my personal experiences and my family's experiences. But I will honestly say, since then, I consider Samsung one of the best appliance manufacturers. Everything has changed. Their quality, um, their products are beautiful, well-built, and they seem to last. Having said that, there is not a product on the market that will not have bad reviews, and there is not a product or brand on the market that will not fail some people, that will not show up broke or break fast. Now, appliances are not food, so there is no expiration date. And they don't change the lines too often, meaning they might have the same model number or the same model or looks like the same model for five, six years. The best thing you can do to protect yourself, unless you get a, you know, a killer deal because it was, you know, 75% off or something, check the manufacture date when it's delivered to your house. It should be manufactured the same year you purchase it. So if it's 2021 or 22 and they bring you from, you know, 2017, send it back, say you want a new one. Also, buying an extended warranty, I understand it's never fun to spend the extra money, but if you're gonna own something to, for four or five years, and this really goes for anything, electronic, appliances, you're gonna use it and it's gonna pay for itself. We live in a throwaway society that's not really about fixing anymore. It's, it breaks by a new one, but not everybody wants to do that. So what I recommend is looking into a home warranty or buying the extended warranty from the manufacturer or the store you purchase it. It will pay for itself. Now, I don't rep represent any companies or anything. I'm just letting you know, reviewing technology and appliances, essentially everything is going to break. And if you want to keep it for a long time, that will help you. Don't forget, bad reviews doesn't mean that the product's bad. Research it, don't take my word for it, don't take anyone else's word for it. Research it, if it has the features, make sure it's manufactured that year, buy an extended warranty, it kind of takes the weight off your shoulder, and then you can enjoy. Just to show you some quick results, what I'm gonna do, as you can see, I picked out some pretty bad cups, I stuffed the dishwasher, I did it, purposely bad i just threw all the cups in there everything sideways and i just did this to see what will happen how they'll turn out now i will show you what i'm gonna run we have lower rack storm wash two hours 52 minutes and over on the left here i'm just gonna run it on auto so let's see what happens so it's almost finished. As you can see, we have six minutes left. It popped open automatically. You probably can't hear it, but you can hear the fan and it's blowing out steam. This is to help with those spots. So at this point, it shut off, it finished. I can already see that, first of all, dish has got fumbled around a little, so you know that it's a powerful jet. And also I noticed that the hard water that was on top of the cups is much better. 
In some cases, completely gone. In others, there's a little bit left. But again, remember, I threw everything in here. I didn't try to put it in properly for a reason. Still a little bit hot, but I'll give you kind of an idea. Now, these aren't brand new glasses, so they are actually crystal clear, except for the fact that the wear and tear, you know, from it not being new. Otherwise, it did a great job so far. Also, I was curious, I threw these bowls back here where you can see that it can't really get a good blast of the water. And I put a bowl back there. Let's pull these out and see what they look like. You know, overall looks pretty clean. There is a few spots, but the bowl is clean and it actually did have some hard stuff on there. And as you can see, it left just a touch here. But again, good job for the way I loaded it. Pulled out the bottom drawer here so we can kind of take a peek. Again, it's a dishwasher, it does a great job. Even when it's not loaded perfectly, you know, I still would recommend if you have really hard caked on food to scrape it off. Sorry, having a difficult time here with the camera and doing this, but perfectly clean. All in all, great job. Take a look at this cup here. Nice and clean. Nice job. That pretty much concludes my review on the all new Samsung Stormwash dishwasher. This is a product that I am confident to recommend. It's a great dishwasher, has plenty of features, great build quality, and so far has not let me down. If you have any questions or I missed anything, remember I do YouTube for you and you only. You can reach me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, at JBTechFanatic. Of course, the best place to contact me is in the comment section. I will try to help you as best as possible. If I missed anything in this video, just reach out. As always, I'd like to slow things down for a moment and remind you life is so short. Don't forget to love your family. Take care of each other. The world is a mess right now, and the only people that can change it is you and I. Go out today and do a small act of kindness for someone. It is amazing how the smallest act of kindness can change dramatically someone's day. I wanna thank you so much for checking out my video. Remember, I got lots of new content coming, especially in the kitchen. We have the new four-door flex, the new slide-in induction um, range by Samsung, and then of course, something I'm very excited about, the all-new AI Smart Vac from Samsung. So once those are available, you'll be able to click on my photo or the link above to check those out. If you like this video, hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, share the video. I can't wait to talk to you in the comments and see you in the next video. And until then, I'm JB Tech Fanatic, and I'm out. Peace.